statement written by the awaited Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad al Yemeni on the 15th of September 2011, entitled Jews and Christians are the children of Israel, Prophet Jacob, peace be upon him. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, peace and blessings be upon my grandfather from generations, Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah, and upon all his purified descendants, and upon all prophets of Allah and their purified descendants. We make no distinction between one another of his messengers, and to Allah we submit it in Islam. Are you the helper in the cause of Allah, the supporter of Imam, who uses her mind to think and understand the words of Allah? I am the awaited Imam Mahdi, the guided one. I welcome you with the best greeting to debate your Imam in the age of dialogue before appearance. Allah is the witness that your debate is not because you disbelieve nor because you have doubts in me being the awaited Imam but because you want your heart to feel the calmness and surety that you are on the right way before the appearance of the Imam. And if Allah wills, you are among the people who shall be honored after the appearance of the Imam and on the Day of Judgment, if you do not go astray from the right way of Allah. Your Imam promises you that his proofs will dominate over yours with the authority from Allah and the knowledge Allah has given him, the knowledge of the book, the Holy Quran. Verily, the book is a reminder for those who understand the right word, the sound of judgment in speech and decision, the word that separates the truth from falsehood, and it is now a thing of amusement. Since you disagreed with the fatwa ruling of the Imam Nasir al-Yamani that the Jews and Christians are the children of Israel, we will call from your words the most important of what you've said. I disagree with his understanding when he said, O oh Muslim scholars, you may surely know that Jews and Christians are the children of Israel. And a quotation. I say that you denied my fatwa that Jews and Christians are the children of Israel. So in our debate, I caught from the clear verses of the Holy Quran of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ask the children of Israel how many clear ayah we gave them. And whoever changes Allah's favor after it had come to him, then surely Allah is severe in his punishment. Surah 2, verse 2, 11. So Jews and Christians were called by Allah the children of Israel at the time where the messenger Muhammad peace be upon him was sent, according to what Allah said, Ask the children of Israel how many clear ayah we give them, and whoever changes Allah's favor after it had come to him, then surely Allah is severe in his punishment. Surah 2 verse 2 11 this is a clear proof in the book of Allah that Allah calls Jews and Christians the children of Israel. Allah also said, Say tell me, if this Quran is from Allah and you deny it, and the witness among the children of Israel testifies that this Quran is from Allah, like the Torah, and he believed, while you are too proud to believe, verily Allah guides not the people who are dhalimun, disbelievers and wrongdoers. Surah 46 verse 10 Allah also called them the children of Israel at the time of the messenger of Allah Jesus, Isa, son of Mary, peace be upon him and upon his mother. Allah said, And remember when Isa, Jesus, son of Maryam, Mary, said, O children of Israel, I am the messenger of Allah unto you, confirming the Torah which came before me, and giving glad tidings of a messenger to come after me, whose name shall be Ahmad. But when he came with clear proofs, they said, This is plain magic. Surah 61 verse 6 Allah also called them the children of Israel after the time where Musa, Moses, and Harun, Aaron, peace be upon them, both were sent. Allah said, have you not thought about a group of the children of Israel after the time of Musa, Moses, when they said to a prophet of theirs, Appoint for us a king, and we will fight in Allah's way. He said, Would you then refrain from fighting if fighting was prescribed for you? They said, Why would we not fight in Allah's way while we have been driven out of our homes and our children? 
but when fighting was ordered for them, they turned away, all except a few of them, and Allah is all aware of the Zalimun, disbelievers and wrongdoers. Surah 2 verse 246 Which change not the words and fatwa of Allah in the book. They are the children of Israel and believers and the ones who rejected faith among them. Allah said, But when fighting was ordered for them, they turned away, all except a few of them. In Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Those among the children of Israel who disbelieved were cursed by the tongue of Dawood, David, and Isa, Jesus, son of Maryam, Mary. That was because they disobeyed Allah and his messengers and were ever transgressing beyond bounds. Surah 5 verse 78 here the curse came on a part of the children of Israel because not all of them are alike. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Not all of them are alike. A party of the people of the scripture stand for their right. They recite the verses of Allah during the hours of the night, prostrating themselves in prayer. Surah 3 verse 11 3 but they are called the children of Israel, the believers among them, and the disbelievers, starting from the twelve sons of Jacob, peace be upon him, to this day, all are called the children of Israel. And we did come with the clear knowledge that Jews and Christians are called Jews and Christians because a part of the children of Israel believed and the other part disbelieved. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, All you who believe, be you helpers in the cause of Allah, as said Isa, Jesus, son of Maryam, Mary, to the Hawariyun, disciples, who are my helpers in the cause of Allah. The Hawariyun disciples said, We are Allah's helpers. Then a group of the children of Israel believed, and the group disbelieved. So we gave power to those who believed against their enemy, and they became the uppermost. For that they became two groups. Jews and Christians. And the nearest and left to the believers are those who say, We are the helpers in the cause of Allah, Christians. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Verily you will find the strongest among men in enmity to the believers, the Jews and those who are mushrikun, idolaters. And you will find the nearest in love to the believers, those who say, We are the helpers in the cause of Allah. Christians. That is because among them are priests and monks, and they are not proud. Surah 5, verse 82. O helper in the cause of Allah, there should be no blame for you to argue and discuss with your Imam. Let us continue our debate until you are firmly following the straight way of Allah. Peace and blessings be upon all messengers, and praises and thanks be to Allah, the Lord of all that exists.